Yo, check this one out. I'm gonna show you how to make this castle scene in less than four minutes. <sighs> make a polygon plane. Scale it, rotate it, and assign a new material. Then attach a file node and add a picture of a mountain. Make another plane and then increase the subdivisions. Scale it up and then use the move tool with a soft selection on it to start matching the shape of the mountain. Then use the sculpt tool to make it look more rough. When you got something you like, assign a new surface shader material. Then right click on a file node and select create as projection. Change the projection type to perspective and the link to camera to perspective space. Position it where it looks good and then in the hypershade window, select your image and then go to edit, convert to file texture. It might come out a little bit distorted, but you can clean it up in a program like Photoshop. Once you got it looking good, assign the texture to your object. Make sure you do this part right, because you don't want to try to cheat the mountain. Can't cheat the mountain, Pilgrim. Now use the same technique to create even more mountains. In a new scene, go to Create Image Plane and then add an image of a castle wall. Now go to Mesh Tools, Create Polygon, and start making the first section of the tower. When you're done, right click on it and select Edge. With the top edge selected, hit Extrude and start modeling the rest of the tower. Then go to Mesh Tools, Insert Edge Loop, and start adding lines anywhere that looks interesting. In the side view, start moving the vertices over to give it more depth. Now duplicate it, rotate it 90 degrees, and move it into position. Combine the two pieces together and then right click and select Vertex. Select the two vertices that should go together and click on Edit Mesh, Merge. Do the same thing for the rest of them and don't forget to move them back to the right position. Now right click and select Face and start extruding out the windows. Before too long, you should have something that looks like this. Now you can duplicate it and start adding all the in-between stuff, like arches and smaller towers, using the same technique. Select all the front faces and then click Planar Mapping. In the UV editor, scale down and position the faces you just mapped. Then do the same thing for all the other faces. Take a UV snapshot and use that as a guide to place your textures. And now we got castle walls so good even Robin Hood would be intimidated. Oh come on Robbie, climb the castle walls. Use the same technique to create even more walls. You could even duplicate certain sections to save time. Import your mountains and start creating a scene. Using the same technique as the castle walls, make a little house. And then make another house. Don't forget to add walls and windows. Walls and uh, windows. Then just start duplicating them all over the scene until you make a village. Nice. Make a cylinder and extrude it in the Y axis. Then make a plane and position it like so. Increase the subdivisions and then make it an in-cloth object so it acts like a flag. Then select a paint effect with the paintbrush to paint palm trees. Start duplicating your flags and start placing them everywhere. Then do the same thing with your trees. Hey, here's something cool. Select your mountain and then make it a paintable object and now you can paint directly on top of it. Make a new sky dome light and then apply your favorite HDRI. Then make an area light and put it right here. Set it to an orange color so it looks kind of like fire. Then you can just duplicate the same light and start putting them all over the place. Now make a really big directional light and give it a bluish color. Put a plane in the background and then give it an image of a sky. Put some fog in there, put some warrior guys in there, and before you know it, you got yourself an awesome looking castle scene. <laughs>